Have you ever heard about face yoga? Have you ever thought about being on camera and you shied away from it because you were so concerned about the way you look, your features, and you just don't know what to do because you're not really into those other approaches and you were looking for something different? I'm so excited today to have Louise Breton with me. She is a certified face yoga expert, and we're going to have a wonderful conversation all about how you can use face yoga to improve the look and feel of your skin, your energy, your facial features. So you can be saying yes to those camera opportunities, yes to being on social media more. And you not only are just going to change your facial features, you are going to energetically really clear some stuff up. And this is why I love talking to um, Louise is because she does the work like I do, where we want to change from the inside out. And as a fashion stylist, I want you not to just buy a bunch of new clothes, but to really create a new look, a new signature look. And today we're going to have this most amazing conversation. So Louise, thank you for being here and tell me about how your journey to face yoga came about. Well, thank you first, Christine, for having me. I'm super excited to uh, talk about face yoga, but like, I love that we're, we're combining um, both our um, uh, feng shui and, and the clothing and, and yeah, just everything, how it all ties in together. So I'm super excited. So um, to how I started with this, so I'm going to have to take you back to 2017. And I was working, so um, my background is a registered holistic nutritionist, and I was working with clients, and I was working for a company, and I got to a pivotal point in my life where I was feeling um, unfulfilled, mm -hmm. and I was looking for something, and um, anyway, there was a lot going on in, in my job, and I was feeling... Um, a lot of stressed, very stressed out. Um, and I, what I also, at that period of time, I started to notice little subtle changes in my face as well. So starting to see gravity take hold of my face, <laughs> right. And you're doing all the creams and, you know, you're trying all the, uh, the beauty products out there. Um, but, um, so when I came across face yoga, um, I, uh, I remember just trying it. I tried a few little poses and Christine, it was, I, it felt it was it, like pretty immediately. There was an, an inner shift. So, um, I remember just sitting uh, in the kitchen, sitting at my Island there and I was doing some poses in the beer and I started to laugh and I was laughing because you're, of course, there's some silly faces you're making, you're moving your face funny. And, um, and I realized, I'm like, it's been a while since I laughed. And there was just something that just attracted me to this. And I'm like, there's something to it. So then um, that's when, a couple months later, I explored. There was a, a certification that was coming up. And I was like, I got to do this. This is this is what I was looking for. So, um, yes. <laughs> so tell me, what is it about face yoga when you, somebody comes to you and says, Louise, you know, I have under eye bags and they're just so puffy and can you help me? What is your approach to something like that? Because I know it's not just, we're going to fix the under eye. There's other elements. And this is what I love about this work because you can't always just spot fix something. You have to look at the whole picture. And that's what is really amazing about this stuff that it goes deeper than just the puffy eye bags. Exactly. So as I mentioned before, my background is in holistic nutrition and that uh, that's what I love, love combining to, right? It's not about, you know, uh, an eye cream or, you know, uh, just finding something, putting compresses on your eyes. And that, these are all great things to help, right? To complement. But there's the uh, face, like same with the skin, um, when things are going on, it's just a message from the body. So there's something deeper going on, um, and that needs to be addressed. And our body allows us, shows us through, you know, whether we have breakouts or whether, you know, again, with eye bags, we've got dark colors, there's blue colors. Um, 
And so, yeah, so I like myself is I like tend to when I work with a client is we go into a little bit of a history. So I'll go get in, um, I'll take a, um, like a lifestyle assessment. I'll find out what's going on in their diet. Um, so I'd like to go in a little deeper and, you know, get, you know, even finding out how much water they're drinking, right? How much they're sleeping. So it is, so these are a lot of things that I take into consideration um, um, as I'm creating a protocol with, with my clients. So yeah, so wheels eye bags are, you know, there's, there's a message. So it could be something going on in the kidney, could be not drinking enough water. Uh, it could be pigmentation. It, there's just so many different variables, but this is where I'd like to go in deep and have a, a conversation with the client. And we kind of go into their unique lifestyle, right? What's, what's going on in there. So then I'm able to be able to better assess, um, you know, some of my suggestions and tips for them. And so I know because I did, when I was doing the feng shui, I remember having a teacher who talked about all the elements of the face. Can you talk about that? Because though under the eyes represents uh, the kidneys, uh, the 11s represent the liver. Yeah. Like, so, so let's talk about like what the meanings of the, the face mean. Okay. So yeah. So as I said, there's different meridians on, on, on the face and they correlate to different organs in the body. And again, right under the eyes, it could be a lot of kidney stuff going on. It could be toxins. It could be um, our lymphatic as well. So our lymphatic plays a big role as well. So a lot of times, a lot of people are walking around pretty toxic and our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. So we need some help and sometimes just a nice massage and, and get things flowing. Um, and this was me. I had a lot of uh, those creases look there. Um, and they tend to connect with worrying a lot. So worrying a lot of stress. Uh, as you mentioned, Christine, liver as well. This is a big area, liver point too. Um, and then um, in the face, we've got sometimes you've got some breakouts. This is hormonal as well and then in the cheeks here as well can be digestion as well so that also kind of can indicate to me what's you know what kind of di uh, diet my clients eating um and just even their personality as well so i don't go too too much i know there's face analysis in there but it does it does and as i said i like to check even the skin texture the eyes as well um i think we mentioned this too we talked christine is so when you're working with me, and I always, I always know if you've done your homework. And one of the first changes I see, um, and this is pretty quickly, is in the eye. So, um, you know, sometimes a lot of us will have kind of like, I'll say jaundice or yellowish kind of in the, in the whites of the eyes, right? They're maybe a little bit cloudy. They're not, you know, clear. So when you start uh practicing face yoga, you're bringing a lot of oxygen, you're bringing a lot of nutrients. So these are things your skins are not used to, right? It's so it starts to move and shift. And um, as soon as I meet the client after I've given them homework, I do give you guys a little homework. And I look and I I know, I know, it's like the eyes are the the what do they call the windows of the soul, right? So, yeah. Like, so yeah, so I'm like, I know you've done your homework. And um, that's, that is a clear indication for me too, as well. So, so what would be something that would be good if somebody was ready to get on camera? Um, do you do these exercises before you would put on your skincare before you do your makeup? Um, when would you do these exercises just to like, say like you're just a lot's going on. You've been in meetings all morning, all of a sudden you've got to get on the camera what could I do to just re-energize, like you said, just brighten up my eyes, open up my eyes and get myself kind of recharged before I had to get on that camera? Okay. Um, the beauty with face yoga, you can do this anywhere. That's yeah. what I loved about yeah. it. Like you don't need any tools. You don't, uh, you know, it's, it can be done. Um, like I, my, my prep, my, preferred times are morning and evening. And I'll give you a, a reason why. So in the morning, um, you know, most of us first thing we go in the mirror and we just, we want to do what we need to do without really contact with ourselves, right? We just brush our teeth, comb your hair, 
apply your makeup, but we're not really in touch with ourselves. So I like that to have spend, um, and it doesn't have to be long, three to five minutes doing a couple poses. And, um, you know, we can do some, there's different poses you can do, um, but we can do a couple poses and it kind of sets the tone for your day now, right? So you bring the, uh, you're bringing that oxygen, as I, I mentioned, you're, you're, you know, you got more uh, circulation going on in your face. So you set the tone for your day. And then in the evening, right, after you've had maybe a long day of maybe meetings and clients that now, you know, you're kind of carrying maybe some of the stress of the day and you're going to go to sleep. So you don't want to go to sleep holding on that tension and stress in the face. So again, it's again, as you're, you know, cleaning off, cleaning your face, or washing your face, cleansing your face and doing again, another three to five minutes of poses. And now we've released the stress and tension and we've set the tone for our sleep. So as we sleep, our faces are, are relaxed and um, your body's able to do its repair. So those are my two favorite times. Again, um, I've done this commuting as well. So I used to commute um, about a half hour poses. So you can do this driving as well. So you can do some, and it shifts your whole day. So, you know, I know driving, right? We've, we've all encountered um, maybe a little bit of road rage sometimes. <laughs> Right. You, you've got some drivers and you're like, really? Right. So, you know, that could you could carry that into your day. But no, it's like, OK, so I'll, I'll sh if you want, Christine, yeah. I'll show you what my favorite poses. And okay. it's called the wow pose. And I, I also name it the happy pose. So, you know, you're driving away and maybe someone turns in front of you. They didn't indicate. And this one here, again, just kind of breathing in through nose. And wow, wow, wow. You don't have to vocalize, but I encourage it. I love just to move that, that energy. So I'll be driving out like, wow, wow. And then it gets me giggling. It gets me laughing and it's, it just lightens the whole situation, right? So now I can go to work. I've let that go. I'm not hanging on to that. So, you know, that's one thing. Again, you could practice that before um, you're going to do, you're going to get online as well, right? So just there's some exercises we can talk about that really bring a lot of flow. Uh, we have one, it's, uh, they did a thermographic uh, imaging. So we can, it can, um, there was a pose that we've done and it was uh, showing before. So there was all, um, you know, the blue, right? Everything uh, was blue. And then we did three sets of a 30 second pose. And you should see the amount of heat that was radiating, like just in 30 seconds. So there's all that, that uh, um, circulation and oxygen going on the face. So that's another one. It's called the big O. I can show you that one too, yeah. if you want to. Okay. Yeah, let's see that. So, so this one's a little, it took me a little while to get it. Um, Probably a lot because I, I, for me, I held a lot of tension in, in my jaw. So again, um, uh, what I tend to do is we do um, exercise, release exercises, because we do hold a lot of tension in our overall face. So I will, uh, we'll work on, on releasing the area. And then we do either a warm up or we'll do a face yoga pose. So um, initially, I didn't realize, as I was mentioning with the job I was in very miserable, very like stress. So I was holding all the tension. So it took me a little bit, but um, yeah, you just kind of breathing in again and then drop in the jaw and it's called the big O. And I don't know if you can see the shaking in, in my yeah. house. Like, so you're holding it like, So yeah, so again, the more relaxed, otherwise just, even just dropping in. But again, the more relaxed this is, it's in, and it's practice again. And I, and I, I do have some tips as well, but you're stimulating all the mouth muscles. So the mouth muscles, they're an area that gets really tight because we're always, we're talking, we're chewing, we're eating. So this tends, and, and I noticed that in, um, you know, as we get older in the 40, like the more matures, right, more time we spent, um, 
you know, using our mouth muscles, this tends to get really tight, tight, tight. So we, there's a lot of uh, exercise we can do to really open up and release a lot of the fascia, right? Because the fascia in there, just everything gets super tight. But as you release a lot of the mouth, so you'll see, you notice everything, then everything starts to just uh, smooth out. And um, yeah, you'll, you even uh, conversation or, how, or speech as well, your speech can improve it too as well, as we let go of a lot of the tension in the fascia. So this is really fascinating because what you said too about going to bed and doing these exercises and we like I'm really good with my morning routine but like my night routine is not there but it what you said it's kind of like we can help ourselves let it go so even in you're in the car and you just like doing that exercise you just keep letting go of that stress and it's these little things that if we just keep shaking them off as much as we can energetically it really helps us to be better in alignment with what we want to achieve and better alignment with more positive open paths and doors and opportunities. And so it's, it's so cool that you could just do something like that to just remind yourself if you're getting stressed in the office, that simple little exercise can just release the tension here, which I'm sure helps release the tension in the neck. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. It, and, and it's like, if, you know, people say, well, why did you call it face yoga, right? Is it because it's a trend and all that, but it's actually just about uh, self-realization, self-awareness. So everything we do, as you learn, you learn about your face, you learn about um, your own, um, I say like our own facial expressions, right? So I used to, wow, right? I'd get all, sometimes I have a hard time doing it now. I have to like treat, because I retrain the brain, right? It's like, okay, we're not moving the forehead muscles. We're using our eye muscles. So it's just having that awareness. And do I still do it sometimes? Yeah, I still fall back in, but I'm now able to get back myself out of it. So it's uh, spending a lot of time in the mirror. And um, I've mentioned, I've had a uh, client who, uh, she was in her early seventies and, um, and we brought everybody, I had them bring their mirror to class and everybody was looking in the mirror. And of course you have to, again, it's about good posture, good form. And, um, you know, at the end of, uh, our, our session, she's like, I've never looked in the mirror in all my 72 years as I've done, you know, in, in, in these classes. So, and that was a beautiful thing. That was just a beautiful thing. So to really look at ourselves, right? It's not looking at, you know, my face has got to be perfect or as I said, like I'm not going to have a Hollywood face. It's just really seeing, seeing who yourself, right? Really looking like said, through your eyes and, and seeing yourself in self-acceptance. And what's a quick morning routine? Just, I know it, it's, it's more specific when you work with her and you can get the customization, but just a general exercise that we could just do in the morning, just to get that energy. Like, especially if we didn't have a good night's sleep, if we're still going to a job that we're stressed at, like, how can we just shake it off in our face a little bit more? Yeah. Um, so the first thing I would do is just know, find out where you're like, you you hold your stress. So if I were, I mean, we could do a little exercise and, um, yeah, I'd like to do, I'd like to do this little exercise cause yeah. I like to connect the, the emotions with that. So, um, what I'll just kind of have you kind of, if you want, just close your eyes. We're just going to close your eyes. We're just going to take the pads of our th uh, of our fingers put it on the top of your uh, hairline. And then as I talk, I'm just going to have you just kind of slide down. So we're just going to just keep doing this sliding down motion. Okay. So just want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine something, you know, maybe that's kind of weighing on you. So, you know, maybe you have to, you know, you have to do a big talk and, you know, it feels daunting or, you know, you got, you got to get your website completed or, you know, just think of something that, or maybe you have to speak to somebody that, you know, you're, you're a little bit um, anxious to feel. So just imagine as you go down, close your eyes and then just go in and notice where you're holding, like where in your face, is it in your temples? right? Is it in your scalp? Is it in your mouth? As I said, in your jaw, that's a big one as well. Maybe it's in your neck muscles. 
So it's just as you think of that big daunting task or that person you got to meet or, uh, you know, maybe there's something going on and you got to get a dress in the house and just notice. So you notice. So if you're waking up and you start to notice where you hold the, the stress. Okay. And then you hold on. And now I want you to notice we're going to do the opposite. Again, we're going to take the we're going to take the back of the fingernails, and I just like to to slide upwards as well. So you just notice something that brings you joy, something that lights you up, right? I'm lifting up the chin, right, and thinking maybe maybe it's a pet, maybe it's a child, maybe you know it's the, the flowers that you cut yesterday, or just something that just totally lifts you up, right? So just close your eyes. And just notice, notice your face, your face feeling a little more uplifted. Do you feel your mood lifting up? Right, what do you notice, right? Compared to the other exercise that we just did. So just beginning, just that up, up, up motion, that feeling of lifting, being lifted. So that simple right there, right? So we notice where you're holding tension. So let's just say, for instance, um, it was in your jaw. So, you know, you can start your morning and you could even start even a little massage or I do a tap. I'll just tap a little bit. So I'm like, and then I'll, I'll visualize myself just letting go, letting go of the stress, letting go of the stress. So you just feel, feel the, the tension melting. And then we could do the wow pose. So you can do that. I like to do also combine it with detox. So I do, I, I like to play around. I love to interact. So I'll do three wows. And then I do a detox pose, which is similar to um, the lines. I think it's the lines pose in yoga. So I can even hold your face. And you're being just kind of, I can give you a few extra, but you're being kind of, you know, silly, you're moving, you're now moving your muscles in your face. So think about even your body when you do a little light stretch and maybe do a little warm up already. So I'm already feeling, I don't know if you notice now, I can already feel my, my, the heat rising up in there as well. So you just. Oh, so wait, is that, is that normal that the heat, cause I was getting the heat in there. Yes. Yes. That's a great, great sign. Great sign. So well. is that I'm what you're having a hot flash? <laughs> when the heat is coming up, it's like it's just opening up. It's energizing. Now you're bringing nutrients now to the skin. Think of it, right? Those antioxidants. We all want those collagen creams and collagen powder, but you know, antioxidants are are a requirement to our bodies to make collagen right? Elasticity. So now we're bringing all this fresh nutrients to the skin. And the more you do it, right, over time, it starts to heal and rejuvenate and repair the skin tissues. So this is, to me, this is so aligned with a lot of everything from the feng shui. It's kind of like acupuncture too. Like if you were blocked in your energy in the feng shui, the same thing is that in your house was where you were blocked with the energy, you would clear the clutter. So it's all of this connections and what i love about this is that you're not just talking about um it, it's so connected it, it's all connected to everything and from someone who's done the feng shui and all these different types of things i keep hearing the same thing and it's always going to be that you know stress is held somewhere in our body yeah. and for me i know i love doing my yoga in the morning because i just feel so you know we refreshed and relaxed but in the middle of the day I could come up and have a little more stress going on because there's so much emotional stuff coming at us and what you're here is that you have other tools that say well I could quickly take care of that because I can't always just get into a damn da down dog and, and start doing my yoga but I could do some stuff with my face just to get myself refreshed so it's almost like you could take a break go have some water, put on some music and mm -hmm. just, you know, start doing these moves. Like that would just felt like, you know, okay. Um, or that thing, like, you know, just shake it off. Like, yes, you know, just shaking your hands can just let out the stress and energy. So this is so fabulous. What is one last tip that you could really help people to kind of open up their minds and just say that, 
we, we don't have to feel stuck with like, cause I know sometimes people are like, well, that's not science-based. And I don't always believe that everything has to be science-based. I believe that you have to resonate with what it is. But from a looking at their face, it's very hard. And I know a lot of um, gurus talk about this, like saying, I love you, you're wonderful, you're amazing. How can you get more comfortable staring in the mirror and feel comfortable with looking at yourself and, you know, making peace with yourself, not trying to say, I love you, because I think it's too hard to get to that point, but to kind of come in harmony with who you are and how your looks. Yeah, it's a great question. <laughs> a really great question, Christine. Right. Um, yes. I, I think it just starts with just, um, you know, it's like starting a relationship, right? It's it, think of it as a relationship. Um, as I said before, we often tend to go in the mirror and do the, the bare necessities and get out, but start to look at it as building a relationship with yourself. And, um, you know, it doesn't, like you said, yeah, it doesn't have to, I, I like to combine affirmations with it, but find maybe an affirmation that that works for you and if you're not even there say listen at least I'm open I'm open to you know I'm open to feeling beautiful you right I'm I'm open you know just just even that exploring so even if you can spend even a few minutes in the in the mirror and just as you start the pose if the pose most people say okay I want to do this pose and they're not really thinking of um you know, look at looking at themselves, like really seeing themselves. But as you start and you and and um, things start to shift inside. So, again, it's it's not having to spend long periods of time. That's what I love about it, too. Like you could do three minutes here, three minutes here, two minutes here. It's it's just taking that time for yourself. And I know self-care has been, you know, it's all over. Everybody's talking about self-care, self-care, but it really is. It's, it's, it's taking two minutes for you here, three minutes for you there. Like how many times do we get spread thin, but just coming back and saying, okay, um, I'm going to give myself five minutes in this mirror and I'm going to learn this, this pose, right? It's going to, or in this pose, it's going to open my eyes or this pose is going to work on my neck. And you could have that end goal. But Christina, as I've seen a lot of my, my clients, there's something that shifts inside. So just even commit to doing the poses, you will know as you start to bring actually, just like working out, right? We tend to work out because, you know, whether, whether it's a goal of, you know, I want to have flat tummy or I want a goal of having stronger arms, but as you work out, you know, there's something in you, all the endorphins, everything starts to shift and it, it shifts your outer world, like your confidence. This is a big one too. This is kind of a, a side effect to the face yoga. So the confidence. So I'd say, you know what, you know, start if a hey, Louise, um, you know, I want to get rid of my, 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 um, my forehead lines or my under eye bags and start with that goal. And you will have to spend, that'll be my homework. But over time, you will see, uh, if you look at it as building a relationship with oneself, right, that's what it is. And, and we are with ourselves 24 seven. So why not have the best relationship possible with ourselves? I love that. And that's so true. If you're going to really feel that you're starting a new chapter in your life and you that's what I'm so encouraging clients to do is start a new chapter then don't overwhelm yourself trying to do everything no. and spending more money doesn't always mean it's going to end in results it's doing little things with powerful intention and consistency and I think that this is a wonderful wonderful opportunity to add into a morning routine, add into an evening routine. And it could also bring more clarity to other areas that you are resistance in your, your body. So it has an overall feel to it. Louise, tell us a little bit um, about where we can find out more about you and, and how you work with clients. Okay. Uh, so you can find me, I do have a website. It's uh, faceyogawithlouise.com. 
Um, I'm also on LinkedIn and I'm on Facebook as well. I do have a community uh, Facebook page as well, group, and that's a change of face. I think it's on my my there, a change of face. And also face yoga with Louise.com. Those are my handles for Instagram and face yoga as well. Awesome. And I'm going to put all that stuff in the notes below. And I want to thank Louise for coming on. And I want you to try out some of these exercises and just start with this little routine in the morning and evening and just watch how you just those subtle routines. And the key to this is taking a, um, a planner or a notebook and making note on the days that you do it. Because what happens is sometimes we forget when we started something. So if you remember and you look and it's like, oh, it's been seven days. And you know what? I do notice that people are saying, my eyes are brighter, your face is looking good. You wanna make those notes because that's when you go, oh, it's working, it's working. I, you know what you said? That's funny you say that, Christine, because when I, um, when I took the face yoga course, I didn't tell anybody. And I wanted to see mm. if people would notice. And I started to get like, there's something different about you. What what have you been doing? And I allowed that go on. So I, I took the course kind of like behind the scenes. And I and it was a little bit, I have to admit, because I was a little bit, um, I didn't think people were going to accept it, right? Like it was some newer at the time. Now it's becoming more and more popular, but I didn't think people were going to accept it. So I wanted to kind of do my own experiment. And so as I shift and it, it also, you know, I end up leaving that job and that I feel like I benefit face yoga for giving me that confidence to, to step forward and, and step out in the world too. So it helped you gain clarity. It helped you find the new direction. It cleared the clutter, the resistance going on. I love it. I love exactly. it. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Louise. All of our information is down there, down in the comments. And um, I look forward to talking to you more in the future. Thank you so much, Christine. I enjoyed this. This was lovely. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye-bye.